If you're new to video editing, you might feel overwhelmed with all the advanced tools and expensive prices that are offered today. Luckily, there are free video editors available that have all the features you need to create amazing video content. Hey YouTube, it's Lucas here from Snappa, and today I'm going to show you the best video editing software to use for beginners. All of these tools are completely free to use, and they won't add any watermarks to your videos. Let's get started. The first tool on the list is VN Video Editor. It's available for Mac, PC, Android, and iOS. It's very user-friendly, and it comes packed with all the standard editing features that you need. You can import your video clips and drag them down to arrange them on your timeline. There's a toolbar at the bottom that will allow you to split and trim your clips. You can also crop your clips to the perfect size and add some cool motion effects as well. Using the toolbar on the right, you can experiment with different filters to add a stylized look to your footage. And you can also use the sliders to make specific adjustments to the exposure and the colors. By clicking the title tab in the top left, you can add text to your video and customize it with different fonts, color themes, and transitions. They only have a small selection of fonts included, but it's really easy to upload your own fonts right into the editor. And just to add a quick tip, you can download a whole bunch of fonts for free from Google Fonts. VN Video Editor also has a library of background music and sound effects that you can use in your videos. It's really easy to add them to your timeline and make specific adjustments to the volume and the timing. You can also always use the undo button to go back if you ever make a mistake. Another great feature is that you can quickly change the dimensions of your video to a specific aspect ratio. They have presets for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and they even have a circular preset which is really unique. VN Video Editor will also let you export your video in 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second. This is a huge perk since a lot of free video editors will limit you to just 1080p or 720p exports. The second editor on the list is iMovie. It's available for Mac and iOS and it will already come pre-installed on your Apple computer. iMovie is slightly more advanced than VN Video Editor but it's still extremely easy to use. You can import your clips and drag them down to your timeline. You can then easily trim your clips by dragging the ends, and you can split your clips by clicking Command B on your keyboard. The tabs in the top left will have sound effects, titles, backgrounds, and transitions. I love the huge selection of title presets that iMovie provides. You can drag a title down to your timeline and adjust the text settings in the top right. The tabs in the top right will also have your color correction and exposure tools, along with cropping and video stabilization tools. The stabilization feature really comes in handy if you're new to filming and you want to smoothen out your shots. iMovie will also let you adjust the audio and remove background noise from your clips if it's needed. If you like to add filters to your video, iMovie has a solid selection to work with. However, they tend to be a bit over-stylized, so I recommend turning the intensity down just a bit. Once you're finished editing, iMovie will let you export your video in 4K resolution, and you can also customize your export further by adjusting the quality and the compression settings. The final editor on the list is ClipChamp. It's a browser-based editor that you can use on Google Chrome so you won't have to download any software to your computer. You can easily import your clips and drag them down to your timeline. You can then use the scissor button to split your clips, or you can just tap S on your keyboard. And you can also drag the ends to trim them, just like iMovie. Once you select a clip on your timeline, a group of tools will pop up at the top. These will allow you to adjust the audio, change the speed, add a fade, and make any basic color corrections. They also have a decent selection of filters that you can use as well, and your cropping and resizing tools will be located just below. In the toolbar on the left, 
They give you various options for screen recording, and there's also a bunch of templates and themes available that are suited to different platforms and video layouts. This is definitely an attractive feature for beginners. Clipchamp also offers stock libraries for music, videos, and images. However, only some of this content is free, and you'll have to upgrade to have access to everything in the stock library. Just below, you have your text tools, and they also have a bunch of title presets with different transitions and effects. Some of these look really cool, and I can easily add them to my timeline to customize them further, but for some reason, I could not find just a basic title with no effects. It seems like every title has an effect or a transition attached to it, which could be an issue if they don't have any basic titles available as an option. Once you're finished editing, Clipchamp will let you export up to 1080p resolution. You can download the exported video right to your computer, and they also have a bunch of other useful sharing options as well, such as saving to your Google Drive or uploading directly to YouTube or TikTok. These options are extremely handy and make things so much easier for those who prefer to keep everything on the cloud. For my final thoughts, I can confidently say that you'll be satisfied with any of these video editors. They're all free and super easy to use, but they also come with their own pros and cons. If you own a Mac, then I definitely recommend going with iMovie. However, if you own any other device, even if it's just a smartphone, then I think VN Video Editor is the perfect choice for you. And lastly, if you prefer to work online through a browser and you like to keep everything on the cloud, then Clipchamp is definitely the way to go. At the end of the day, all of these tools will provide everything you need to put together some amazing video content. So feel free to try them all and see what works best for you. Well, that's all for today's video. If you have any other video editor recommendations that I forgot to mention, make sure to add them in the comments below. And as always, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.